<laughs> but, because I never understood, you know, when I first met um, Lucille, when I was like six years old, I was asking my mother, is she a relative? Is she my aunt? No, she's a friend. Okay, that's fine. That's a, like a friend, but it's like a relative, you know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, she was, and then uh, she was up at the Redwoods, and in the Redwoods, and we went up and, they had and stayed those cabins. There. They had those cabins up there. You stayed up there. I stayed up there. I had memories of that. Wow, that was fascinating. I got sick as a, as a kitten on the bus. They had to stop the bus so I could get off and, and yeah, threw up. Yeah, but anyway, we got there and. and uh, I had a good time, which was interesting. It was something different, wasn't it? Yeah, it was something different. It was different. the redwood trees? Redwood trees. The, the bathrooms were, were hollowed out redwood trunks. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. I got a photograph there. <laughs> I'm standing next to the, the, he and the, his and hers, you know, his and hers. Standing next to the his with my arms folded, waiting. Now, when's this guy going to finish so I can go in there? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you don't know, do we? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that. You know, you're there. But your dad, I don't remember you even talking about your dad at all. Oh, let's see. Where were we? You want the water? No, that's fine. I'll have some grape juice later. Huh? I'll have some grape juice. Well, there's a whole jar, and if there's empty that, there's another couple jars in there. Perfect. Apple juice, whatever you want. And they're in there, there's some... V8 on this behind the milk on the other side. I'm not hungry yet. That's for I sure. say V8 juice of um, vegetables. No. Whatever. Of the mixed fruit, I think it is. Oh, is it? That's fine. I don't know. Yeah. I forgot. I haven't looked at I'm it. I'm not going to starve, that's for sure. There's bread down on the bottom floor. There's um, French bread in, on that side down on the bottom of, of the. <laughs> I can't eat all that. Huh? I can't eat all that. We have, I we said, have that big, I, I'm just big sharing. Fish, There's apricots in a little container. On, That's fine. That two. I only need two once in a while. I, the change from a banana. I don't know what happened to the bananas anyway. I put them in the fruit dish. Huh? You don't put the bananas in the refrigerator. And not the tomatoes. Nor the, not the tomatoes? No. Okay, I'll put them back on the fruit dish. No, no, I never put... You see the, the plate there with the one little tomato there? Oh, okay. And I'll put I boil there. my water and I put the tomato in. Yeah. And I, then I put it in cold water and I peel it. Then and you peel it. Perfect, yeah. I have a... Usually I have it around 7.30 or so, 8 o'clock as I eat... And I, and I have a, it depends on what I, there's a little bit of cottage cheese, mm -hmm. and I'll have a little, a quarter of a cup of cottage cheese out of that, what's left in there. If another quarter left, you can have that if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I share an apple, and then have my apricot, and then I, whatever is, I don't have to have much, but it's just enough to, and in the freezer, you can have some ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What you... <laughs> That's up to you. Whatever. Have a half a banana. I have, um, I take a half a banana mm -hmm. and I take the other half and I put it in a plastic bag and sit down in there. There are a lot of plastic bags. And I put it in the refrigerator mm. for the next meal. And I don't have to eat the whole thing. Mm -hmm. so that's my feeling. Then there's an orange for you. I didn't pick up any oranges. No. There's one there. Yeah, I don't need it. We have other good things. Huh? We have other good things. <laughs> and the berries. That's... Anyhow, we'll go that route. Yeah. Whatever you want. And there's eggs in there if you want an egg. <laughs> no, if you want one you. of the little red tomato, uh, potato. No. And uh, I have to have the potassium, so I, it's a banana or a potato or whatever. Those are very good for you. Uh, yeah. Those are very good for you. Mm -hmm. The red, the little red tomato. Yeah. To potato. Mm -hmm. Not pot tomato, but potato. Taters. 
Oh, take that away. <laughs> Fingers. It was it's a was line from, from the Lord of the Rings. Huh? A line from the Lord of the Rings. You saw that. No, but the one that I'm thinking of is that vice president couldn't spell potato. Uh-huh. Uh, Who was it? Dan Quayle? Couldn't, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you, you have to laugh at that because of yeah. the... Anyway. So intelligent, you know, so smart, these guys. Well, the other vice president who couldn't read was Nelson Rockefeller. Did you know he couldn't read? He was dyslexic. Well... He, he could read numbers. And that so he got rich just reading numbers. He didn't need to read, you know. And if he needed some information, somebody was just reading the book, you know. He'd get all the information that he needed. He was brilliant, but, I mean, he was successful in business because from the Rockefeller family had all the money that he needed, but he was dyslexic. Now dyslexic is Means reading that, from that side or reading yeah, from Yeah, right. They don't, uh, the eye doesn't see the letters in order. And they can sometimes work work with it. And, you know, good, so that, that they can read the paper, read the Bible, you know. A lot of people can read the Bible. They can't read anything else. They read the Bible because they learn it by heart. I couldn't. You know, my Bible. I haven't, I've been reading everything else. And tomorrow night, I will go to church and read all that literature there. I'm trying to think, when are we going for church tomorrow night? No, tomorrow after, tomorrow. We go for the uh, priests tomorrow. Hmm. I told you about that, didn't I? Yeah. The work, the, the paperwork that's over there on that, underneath St. Fresca. Faustina. Faustina. Anyway, it's right there and it's all the, the paperwork of the, that priest to put this together to have a rosary. We say the rosary. But tomorrow, we're, I mean, Friday, Monday, I think we, it's the second one. We, I don't know what it, I, I forgot, you know, but it's a Monday, so we go to, uh, we have Mass, we have um, the Rosary, and they walk around church and, and say in the Rosary, well, I don't do that. I sit in my pew and be a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, But on the 13th of every month, until October. Do you officiate any of that? No. These are devotions in the parishes. Um, pardon? In the parishes they have these, not in the monasteries. No. They're not part of our calendar. We have our own calendar. And, and You're not affiliated with anything that goes along with Fatima then? Then no. I mean, on an individual basis, someone wants to believe in that and do it, and that's a private thing. If it's a private devotion. But the liturgy, monastic liturgy, is you know has follows its own rules, its own calendar, and so forth, and that's. Do you is it different from the parishes to the uh, monastery? Yes. It, it reads different. Yeah. Uh huh. They use a different translation sometimes. What are they going to do in Advent? Everything's going to be changed. Some things will change. Mostly, it's what the priest reads from the altar. But some of the responses will change, and that will be annoying, and I don't see re it really any reason why they should make people, you know, change their, their habits. habits. It's just annoyance, that's all. See, at 6.30 tonight, over in Kelso, at the Immaculate Conception, they're having a lesson on... Oh, how do I want it? I don't, I'm not talking about it swift, so swiftly. Today, you look at it today, down there. Okay, Roman Missal at Kelso, 6.30 p.m. So, it's about the new Roman Missal, that's what. Yeah, so what is that going to involve? Well, they're teaching people how to say the prayers differently. With the priest? Yeah. The things that you're supposed to recite in the pews. 